Hi everyone, welcome to this GCSE Foundation Revision video. For 60 days of going to your GCSE Maths exam, and today we're going to focus on the topic of drawn linear graphs. So how do we draw those straight line graphs? If you've got the Code Maths Revision cards, card number 66 in the Foundation set is on drawn linear graphs, so that'll be one that'll be quite useful for you, and it goes through how to draw linear graphs. But in this video today, we're going to go through how to draw linear graphs. I'm going to give you some questions to try yourself, so remember to pause the video and to give those a shot. And hopefully at the end of the video, you'll be much more confident with drawn linear graphs, so let's get started. Hi, today we're going to be looking at drawn linear graphs. So we're going to be looking at how to draw graphs such as x equals a number and y equals a number. And then whenever we've got a graph such as y equals 4x plus 1 or 2x plus 3, y equals 10, and graphs such as those. So let's start off with graphs such as x equals 3 and y equals negative 2. So if I was to draw the graph x equals 3, well, there are all the coordinates where you've got the x coordinate to be 3. So such as 3, 4, or 3, 0, or 3, negative 1, and so on. And if we plot these coordinates, we're going to get 3, 4, which is there, 3, 0, which is there, 3, negative 1, which is there. And you could carry on. You could do 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, negative 1.5, and so on. And what you'd find is that all those points lay in this vertical line, like so, the pass through 3 in the x-axis. So this line is x equals 3. If we were asked to draw x equals 4, it would be a vertical line passing through 4 in the x-axis. If we were asked to draw x equals negative 1, it would be a vertical line passing through negative 1 on the x-axis, and so on. So that's how you draw a graph such as x equals 3. Okay, if we were asked to draw a graph such as y equals negative 2, so here we've got y equals a number, well, there are all the coordinates where the y coordinate is equal to negative 2, such as 5, negative 2, or 1, negative 2, or negative 3, negative 2, and so on. And if we pull out those coordinates, let's see where they would be. So 5, negative 2 would be there. 1, negative 2, 1, negative 2 would be there. Negative 3, negative 2 would be there, and so on. So all those coordinates would lay in a horizontal line passing through negative 2 in the y-axis. So let's draw that. So that would be the graph y equals negative 2. So if we were asked to draw the graph y equals 1, it would be a horizontal line passing through 1 on the y-axis. The graph of y equals 4 would be a horizontal line passing through 4 on the y-axis, and so on. Now this is really useful for not only drawing linear graphs, but also whenever you're doing questions such as reflections, because you might need to reflect shapes in different mirror lines. So knowing these graphs, these x equals a number and y equals a number, will be very useful. Okay, let's have a look at a question now for you to try yourself. So can you please pause the video, and can you sketch what the graph y equals 1 and y equals negative negative 4 would look like. So if we were asked to draw the line of y equals 1, where there are going to be all the coordinates where the y coordinates 1, so it's going to be points such as 3, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 5, 1, and so on, it would be a horizontal line passing through 1 on the y-axis. So that would be the graph y equals 1, and that's it. So if you got that, well done. Okay, the graph of x equals negative 4, and this would be the graph of x equals negative 4, and if you got that right, well done. Okay, so we've looked at how to draw graphs such as x equals a number and y equals a number. Now let's have a look at how we would draw graphs such as this. Draw y equals 2x plus 1. So if you know how to draw graphs like this, linear graphs like this, pause the video and draw this graph. Okay, so let's have a look now at how to draw graphs such as this. y equals 2x plus 1. So if I was asked to draw a graph like this, well, first thing I would do is I would draw an xy table. So do a little table of x and y. And I'll choose some values for x. I'm going to choose 0, 1, 2, and 3. And I'm going to find out what the y coordinates would be because y equals 2 times x plus 1. So if I multiply all of these numbers by 2 and add 1, we can find the y coordinates. So let's start off whenever x equals 0. So 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. Whenever x is equal to 1, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Whenever x equals 2, well, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. And whenever x is equal to 3, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So there we've got our coordinates, 0, 1, 1, 3, 2, 5, and 3, 7. So let's plot them. 0, 1, well, 0, 1 would be there. 1, 3, well, 1, 3 would be here. 2, 5, well, 2, 5 would be up there. 3, 7 would be actually off the graph. It would be up there somewhere. But we've got three points in a nice straight line anyway, so we don't need to find any more. If we wanted to find this one here, the point with negative 1, we could do 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2, plus 1 is negative 1, and so on. So that would be that point. And then you can just get a ruler, and you can draw a nice straight line through those points. So it looks something like this. So that would be the line y equals 2x plus 1. And that's it. So to draw this graph, I would draw a little xy table, and I would do 2 times the x-coordinate plus 1, and then that would give us the y-coordinates, so just times all these numbers by 2 and add 1 and you get the y-coordinates, and that's it. Now, there is another way to do this question, and in our video tomorrow, we'll look at the equation of a straight line, and whenever we look at the equation of a straight line, we'll see that this number is the y-intercept, this plus 1, so we could plot this point 1 on the y-axis, 
And then we know the gradient of the lines too. That means if you go across one unit, you go up two. You go across one unit, you go up two, and so on. So you could go across one unit and up two, across one unit and up two, and then you could plot those points and then draw that line. But you could draw it either way. I like the X, Y tables, and uh, that was quite useful in terms of drawing it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question says, draw the graph of Y equals 3X minus 1. So we've been asked to draw the graph of Y equals 3X minus 1 on this grid. So let's do a little X, Y table, so X and Y. And I'm going to choose the values for X of minus 1, 0, 1, and 2, because I actually know they're all going to be on this grid. And actually press pause and work out what the Y values would be, what the Y coordinates would be if these are the X coordinates. Okay, so to find out the Y coordinates, we're going to multiply the X coordinates by 3 and subtract 1. So we're going to multiply all these numbers by 3 and then subtract 1. So let's start off with 2. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Take away 1 is 5. If X is equal to 1, 3 times 1 is 3. Take away 1 is 2. If X is equal to 0, 3 times 0 is 0. Take away 1 is minus 1. And finally, 3 times minus 1 would be minus 3. Take away 1 means go down another 1, which would be minus 4. So we've got our coordinates 2, 5, 1, 2, 0, negative 1, and negative 1, negative 4. So let's plot them. Negative 1, negative 4 would be there. 0, minus 1, well, that's going to be there. 1, 2, 1, 2 is going to be there. And 2, 5, well, 2 across 5 up will be there. So we've got our four points. They're in a nice straight line, so we can get our ruler and draw a line through them. And that will be the graph of y equals 3x minus 1. And that's it. And if whenever we had the table, if you completed those and you got those values for y, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So this time we've been asked to draw y equals x plus 3. So feel free to press pause and draw the graph of y equals x plus 3. Okay, so if I was asked to draw this graph, I would do an x, y table, x and y, and I'll choose some values for x, so I'm going to choose 0, 1, 2. And to find the y coordinate, so I'm going to take the x coordinate and add 3. So I'm just going to add 3 to each of these. So 0 plus 3 is 3, 1 plus 3 is 4, and 2 plus 3 is 5. So we've got 0, 3, 1, 4, 2, 5. So let's plot them. 2, 5 would be there. 1, 4 would be there. 0, 3 would be there. And let's get our ruler and our pencil and draw a nice straight line through them. And then that graph would have equation y equals x plus 3. And we've drawn the graph of y equals x plus 3. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So the next question says to draw y equals minus 2x plus 1. So this time, rather than being x plus 3 or 7x plus 2, this time we've got minus 2x plus 1. So that means we're going to multiply all the x coordinates by negative 2 and then add 1. So feel free to press pause and to work out the coordinates that you'd plot for this graph. So do a little x, y table and see what points you'd plot. Okay, so let's do an x, y table, so x and y, and I'm going to choose 0, 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to multiply all these x values, all these x coordinates, by negative 2, and then I'm going to add 1. So negative 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. That one's quite nice. Okay, negative 2 times 1, well, negative 2 times 1 would be negative 2. Add 1 means go back up 1, so it would be negative 1. Our next one, we've got 2. Negative 2 times 2 would be negative 4. Add 1 means go back at 1, so that would be negative 3. And then finally, negative 2 times 3 would be negative 6. And then add 1, go back at 1, would be negative 5. So we've got 0, 1, so 0, 1. We've got 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1. We've got 2, negative 3, so 2, negative 3. And we've got 3, negative 5, so 3, negative 5. So we've got these four points. They're in a nice straight line, so we can get our ruler and our pencil and just draw a nice straight line through them. And that is how be the graph of y equals negative 2 x plus 1. And because we've got a negative gradient here, the number in front of the x is negative, y equals negative 2x plus 1. Because it's a negative 2 here, it's got a negative gradient, and that's why the graph is going downwards. And that's it. So this is the graph of y equals minus 2x plus 1. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So this time I've been asked to draw 2x plus y equals 4. Now this graph's a little bit different than the ones we've been asked to draw so far. All the graphs we've drawn so far have been y equals 2x plus 1, y equals 3x minus 1, y equals x plus 3, y equals negative 2x plus 1, and so on. So this one's a little bit different where it's 2x plus y equals 4. Y is not the subject. Now you could make Y the subject, and I'll show you in the next question that you can make Y the subject and then do your XY table, and that's fine. But you could do an XY table anyway using this information. So I'm going to do a little XY table, so X and Y, and I'm going to choose some values for X, so 0, 1, 2, 3. And what I'm going to do is we're going to use these values for X, we're going to substitute them in here, and we're going to find the value for Y. So we could do this without making Y the subject, we just substitute these values in, and then you'll get perhaps a little equation that we can solve to find out what Y is. So let's consider whenever X is equal to 0. So we've got 2 times x, so 2 times 0 is 0, plus y is equal to 4. So we have 0 plus y is equal to 4, well 0 plus y would just be y equals 4. So we've got there y equals 4. Okay, next, if x is equal to 1, we've got 2 times x, well 2 times 1 is equal to 2, so we've got 2 plus y 
is equal to 4. And then if we just solve this equation by taking away 2 and taking away 2, we get y equals 2. So whenever x equals 1, y equals 2. And we can just check these, actually. Let's just check our first one. If x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 4, 2 times 0 is 0, plus y plus 4 is equal to 4. Fantastic. If x is equal to 1, 2 times 1 is 2, plus y, which is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4. Fantastic. Okay, our next one, if x is equal to 2, we'd have 2 times 2, which is 4, plus y is equal to 4. Taking away 4 from both sides of the equation will give us y equals 0. So y is equal to 0 there. And our next one, you can see a bit of a pattern here. It's going 4, 2, 0. This one should be negative 2. Let's see. If x is equal to 3, 2 times x, 2 times 3 would be 6, plus y is equal to 4. Take away 6 and take away 6, we get y is equal to negative 2. So y is equal to negative 2. So we've got our coordinates. So 0, 4, 1, 2, 2, 0, 3, negative 2. So let's plot them. 0, 4 would be there. 1, 2, well, 1 across 2 up would be there. 2, 0, 2 across 0 up would be there. And 3, negative 2 would be there. And let's get a ruler and pencil, draw a nice straight line through them. And that would be the graph of 2x plus y equals 4. And that's it. Now, in this question, you could have made y the subject to begin with. You could have taken away 2x's from both sides, and you'd get that y equals 4 subtract 2x, or y equals minus 2x plus 4, and then you could do your xy table, and that would work as well. Okay, let's look at another question. Now, this last one, I'm actually going to make y the subject of this one, just to show you. So this time, we've been asked to draw 3x minus 2y equals 6. So again, you could just do an xy table and do x and y. You could choose some values for x, and then you could make your little equations and find y. In this one, I'm going to make y the subject. So here, if I wanted to make y the subject, the first thing I'd want to do is get the y on its own. Now, here we've got minus 2y. I'm actually going to add 2y to both sides of this equation to begin with because I don't like the fact that it's minus 2y. So if I add a 2y to the left-hand side, well, I'm adding 2y to get rid of the minus 2y, so I'd just be left with 3x. And on the right-hand side of the equation, I had 6. Well, without adding 2y, so it's going to be 6 plus 2y. So we've got 3x equals 6 plus 2y. I want the y on its own, so I'm going to now get rid of the 6. So I'm going to take away 6 from both sides of the equation. So the left-hand side, 3x subtract 6, would just be 3x subtract 6. And on the right-hand side of the equation, we've just got 2y. So we've now got 3x subtract 6 equals 2y. We want the y on its own, so we're now going to divide both sides of the equation by 2. So we're going to divide the left-hand side by 2, and we're going to divide the right-hand side by 2. So dividing everything on the left-hand side by 2, well, 3x divided by 2 would be 1.5x. Then we have subtract, and then we're dividing by 2, so 6 divided by 2 is 3, and that equals y. So we've got y equals 1.5x subtract 3. So we've made y the subject of that equation, that equation of that line. So let's make a little xy table, x and y, and let's choose some values for x, so 0, 1, 2, 3. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply all of these values by 1.5 and then subtract 3. So 0 multiplied by 1.5 would be 0, subtract 3 would be minus 3. 1, well, 1 1.5 times 1 will be 1.5. Take away 3 would be minus 1.5. 2, 1 1.5 times 2 is 3. Subtract 3 is 0. And 3, well, 1 1.5 times 3 would be 4.5. Take away 3 would be 1.5. So we've got our points 0 minus 3. 1 minus 1 1.5, 2, 0, and 3, 1.5. So let's plot them. 0 minus 3 would be there. 1 minus 1 1.5 would be there. 2, 0 would be here. And 3, 1 1.5 would be there. And let's just get a ruler and pencil and draw a nice straight line through them. So that would be the line 3x subtract 2y equals 6. And that's it. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at how to draw x equals graphs. So they're going to be vertical lines passing through whatever number it's equal to on the x-axis. We've looked at how to draw y equals graphs, where you know y equals a number. So they're going to be horizontal lines passing through whatever number it is in the y-axis. So such as y equals negative 2 would look like that. We've looked at how to draw graphs such as y equals 2x plus 1 and y equals 3x minus 1 and so on. And we just use a little xy table to help us find our coordinates. And then we also looked at how to find the how to draw graphs such as this, where we've got 2x plus y equals a number where then we what we done was we either made an xy table and just worked out what the other coordinates would be or we made y the subject and then done an xy table and that's it and that's it so in this video we've looked at drawing linear graphs so those graphs in the form y equals mx plus e hopefully you find this video useful in the description below there's a link to the practice questions so particularly with a topic like this it's quite useful to print those practice questions and do those exam questions or those exam style questions in the same way you get in the gcse paper so where you can sort of draw on the grid and so on so hopefully you find those practice questions useful Another thing I would say is obviously the 60 days to go into your GCSE maths exam, make sure you've got all your equipment to lessons. Obviously draw on straight line graphs, we need a ruler and pencil today. So if you're in lessons and you've got perhaps a you know a past paper you're working on or some questions you're working on, and it comes to questions drawn linear graphs, you're gonna to need to make sure you've got that equipment. So just be prepared and have all your equipment to all your lessons. 
But hopefully you found this video useful today, the 60 days of good GCSE exam. And remember to come up at 3 o'clock for the next video. So see you tomorrow. Cheers. Bye.